Hello my darlings, this is my third attempt at an intro, mostly because I suck at recording these intros. Uh, but yeah, today I brought you an Aizawa story. I hope you like it. It's been a while since we did something that wasn't related to Bakugo. Uh Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, still hope you like and watch it, because uh, I, I think I wrote a good story. If you also think I wrote a good story, why not write your favorite part down in the comments. Uh, but before we dive right into the video, I would like to ask you to watch the video until the end. Like or dislike, or as I already said, comment something down below. This is the best way how you can help me more indirectly with little effort. If you want to put in a little more effort, you can also share the video around. Put it on your social media, send it to your weeaboo friends if you have any, etc. Lastly, if you want to support me more directly, you can also support me on Patreon and on my merch store. Both links are down in the description. I also have a Discord. If you have any fan art you want to send my way, do it there. Uh, also, you will see my immediate reaction, most likely, unless I'm asleep. Uh, okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy the show. Heroics never were your thing. It seemed phony to you. All fake smiles and hidden truths no one wanted to talk about. It was just too much attention. On the other hand, you were way too lazy for a normal 9 to 5, and your quirk was just way too juicy to waste it in an office cubicle. Luckily, you had this realization a long time ago. And through semi-hard work and a boatload of luck, you managed to get into UA High, the biggest and most famous hero school in Japan. Of course, you didn't go there to become one of the good guys. That just wasn't your style. So you simply pretended. You trained decently hard. You learned everything you could. You even had a boyfriend who was really out to become a stalker in the night. It was cute. He was cute. The other girls just didn't get him. You even had your provisional hero license and a dumb hero name. Most of your final year, however, you had spent planning out your future as one of the bad guys. You found it strange that no other would-be villain attended a hero school. You learned so much about how heroes acted in both your internship and job training. So when you were finally let loose into the adult world, Things were surprisingly easy. You had kept a low profile during your school years, mostly due to your avoidance of people and your future. So no one recognized you, especially after you switched out costumes. Something darker and more lethal was more your style. You secretly built up a few connections, mostly smuggling having struck a deal with a guy from America, bringing drugs from somewhere. All you needed to do was patrol around the docks every two weeks, ignoring his activity and reporting that nothing suspicious was going on. It was a good deal. You had basically doubled your earnings. With filled pockets, you were casually strolling through the docks at midnight. A shipment had been sent out to somewhere, and the guy had paid you almost double. Probably was something more than drugs this time, but who cares? You were making bank. That was, however, until you noticed a shadow sneakily following you. Swallowing your pride, you sighed. You had planned on going home and online shop for some new boots. But now you needed to lose this guy trailing you first. 
Of course, you knew who that was. His style of approach was too telling once he was actually noticed. And you wondered for how long he had been chasing you around. <laughs> Might as well give him the runaround. From the docks you entered the subway and took a train to the other end of the city. You stood next to the door to the other cart, glancing from time to time to the obvious weird homeless guy reading a newspaper. It was almost comical. Once you left the train, you went into a tiny park next to the subway station. It had a few trees and a pond, and was quite popular with teens trying drugs for the first time. But you had to agree, it was quite serene. With a pleased grin you sat down on a bench and pulled out your phone. You could. No, you should. Licking your lips you dialed the number of your old high school flame. Hello? He sounded tired. Hey Shota, it's me! You giggled. Yeah, hi. Why are you calling me? You bit your tongue for a moment before saying, Well, why are you following me? Silence. Ah, so you're not denying it. He sighed. What were you doing at the docks? You rolled your eyes. Do you really want to discuss this on the phone? Or do you want to come out of those bushes behind me? He didn't answer. Only the soft rustling of leaves indicated his approach. Quietly, he sat down next to you. Shota Aizawa, your technically still boyfriend. <laughs> Long time no see, you chuckled. I thought you had forgotten me. Didn't we say we would stay together after school? He looked at you. I was trying to, but you never picked up your phone, so I guess you were doing nightly patrols. He shrugged. I called your boss. He told me that you often took night patrols around the docks. Since your quirk is mostly aquatic, you didn't get suspicious. You raised an eyebrow. This was the most innocent detective work you had ever seen. I just wanted to talk to you. And then I see you take money from that shady guy before strolling off. I got suspicious and began taking dock patrols myself at my agency. You grit your teeth. Of course. You knew that there were patrolling heroes everywhere. What you didn't expect was that someone would go onto your turf. Usually patrol routes of different hero agencies would only cross in areas with a lot of people. It was rare more than three heroes patrolled the docks to begin with. You had made a mistake. You didn't expect someone to be already suspicious of you. Just... Why did it have to be your boyfriend? What were you doing there? He asked again. Trying to hide your nervousness, your mind began to race. He had about five seconds to reply, or else he would not buy it. With a playful, amused sigh, you said, ah, That shady guy was an American businessman. I have used my connections with the people working here to give his shipments a better deal. Nothing illegal. You paused. Your heart was killing you. Oh, granted, it is a bit shady, but hey, I'm just trying to survive. Aizawa looked away thinking. So, he pays you to do what? He asked after a while and you sighed. Uh, the deal is basically this, I get some money on the side and then his shipments just happen to have a slightly higher priority. It's a difference of one day, uh, 24 hours, 
where his wares would simply collect dust in a shipyard before being shipped off. You had no idea what you were talking about. You wanted to slap yourself. You should have known better. At least do some research as to how ship deliveries worked. But then I saw leaned back, his hands behind his head. He sighed in relief. I want to be honest. If any other person would have told me this story, I want to believe it. Your eyes widened without you really wanting to. But, please, try not to look so suspicious, okay? I agree it's shady, but yeah, it's not illegal. He smiled. He really wanted to reprimand you more, but his feelings for you were in the way. He found you foolish, but he believed your lie, just enough to not raise a stink. He loved you. He really did. And finally you allowed yourself to calm down a little. We haven't talked in weeks, haven't we? You said with a sad tone in your voice, and he nodded. What's happening with you? You asked him with a grin. I accepted a job offer at UA. You blinked. Shota, we... you just left it! He chuckled. During the day I will teach there. During the night I will do hero work. It's exactly what I wanted. You gave a hearty laugh. <laughs> yeah, the stalker in the night, the disciplined yet somehow still loving teacher during the day, am I right? He nervously combed through his hair. And with a smile you added, Seems like we're both living our dreams, huh? He looked at you. Uh, not yet, he said. I've been wondering about you for a few days now. I missed you. And he fidgeted. I was wondering if you would like to go on another date with me. We haven't really talked since we left school and... Well, as I said, I never stopped thinking about you. That was so sweet of him. You really shouldn't. But in reality, you still loved him too. Eventually he would get behind your lie. You should tell him no. That you moved on. I would love to, you said. Damn it. With a happy smile you leaned into him. His long slender arms snaked around you holding you tight. I missed you, he mumbled, and you quickly raised your head to kiss him on the mouth. Maybe if you tried a little harder, you would not get behind this, or maybe if you played your cards just right, he would even be okay with it. For now, however, you just wanted to enjoy the night with him. <laughs> 